guys, it's Hasa, and the other day I posted a Google form asking you guys to tell me what your top three least favorite Beanie Boos are in a quest to find the most hated Beanie Boos of all time. And sure enough, the results started pouring in and dang was I surprised. I could not believe some of the results and I am literally still in shock. So without further ado, let's get right into the top 10 ugliest Beanie Boos according to you guys. Just a quick disclaimer though, these are not my opinions at all. I did not write this list myself. It was made purely based on the survey responses. So don't attack me. <laughs> but coming in at number 10, we have Ramsey the Unilion! I cannot believe that you guys voted for this Beanie Boo. Like, I knew that there would probably be a Uniboo on this list because Uniboos aren't that popular in the Beanie Boo community, and I mostly agree with that. But out of all of the Uniboos, you guys pick Ramsey? Like, I think Ramsey is probably one of my favorites, if not my definite favorite out of all of the Uniboos. Like, he is so cute. I love his colors. Like, he's always reminded me of Scar the Lion from The Lion King, and I just love how realistic looking he is. His mane is super cool, and I just love him even though he has the horn, so I have no idea why so many people voted for him. I mean, if you voted for Ramsey, then tell me in the comments down below your reasons for voting for him. The most obvious one I think is probably the horn, but I don't know. And number 9 on the top 10 ugliest Beanie Boos list was actually a tie. It was a tie between Bloomy the Bunny and Pinecone the Hedgehog. Now this, I actually agree with. I have never liked Bloomy the Bunny because she just looks so different from the other Beanie Boo Bunnies. For whatever reason, in 2018, Ty decided to do like a redesign of the Beanie Boo Bunnies, and they just made them like really disproportionate. Like if you look at Bloomy, she has has really small ears compared to her head and the rest of her body and they used glitter fabric and they didn't give her a mouth for some reason. Lumi was actually on my top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list from a couple years ago so I definitely still agree with that. And then Pinecone is just one of those Beanie Boos that doesn't really look like a Beanie Boo. She looks more like a Beanie Baby, like she just has the teensy tiny eyes. And I think of course that Beanie Boo should always have humongous eyes so I was really disappointed about that. And I also just never really liked her color scheme. Like, I don't really think that the rainbow tie-dye really goes with the brownness of her fur. So I can definitely see why you guys voted for these two Beanie Boos. And number eight on your guys' list of the top 10 ugliest Beanie Boos is... Wasabi the Baboon! And this one literally hurts me so much. Like, I love this Beanie Boo and I remember being super excited when he came out because he is the one and only Beanie Boo Baboon. He's a really unique Beanie Boo, so I have always loved him for that and I just think that it's a really, like, good design. He has nice natural colors and he looks pretty realistic for a baboon. My one complaint I gotta say though is that Ty didn't give him a pink little baboon butt. That's the one thing that I don't like about this Beanie Boo, he needs a baboon butt. But other than that, I think he's really cute and doesn't deserve to be on this list. Again, if you voted for him, tell me in the comments down below why. I have heard a lot of people before saying that they just don't like the Beanie Boo monkeys in general. Like I've heard some people saying that the Beanie Boo monkeys are creepy. So I guess that's probably why he landed on this list. And number seven on the list of top 10 ugliest Beanie Boos is... Widget the dog! Or Lego dog? I don't really know to be honest. I have some beef with this Beanie Boo. Widget was released as sort of a Legoland exclusive, so that explains why he's really blocky, but I've just always thought that this design is just really, really ugly. Like, look at his head. It's literally a rectangle. And then his body is another weird square looking shape. He has this weird pattern on his forehead and what is going on with the mouth? But guys, the blockiness isn't even the worst of it. The thing that makes me so mad about this Beanie Boo is that he doesn't have Beanie Boo eyes or even glass eyes at all. Because we've had Beanie Boos with teensy tiny eyes, but they still kind of resemble like regular Beanie Boo eyes. This one doesn't even have any. They're literally stitched on. And then they also have these creepy little eyelashes. Just yuck. Just why, Ty? Why? I'm glad that this Beanie Boo is on the list. And now, moving on to number six on the top 10 ugliest Beanie Boos list, we have Flick the Fox! No! This hurts me on a deep, deep level. How 
dare you guys? How dare you? As you guys probably know, Slick is my all-time favorite Beanie Boo. So seeing her on the list of top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos, I just couldn't believe it. Like I was tallying up these votes and I was like, what? And like, I don't know if you guys only voted for Slick to like troll me or if you guys actually meant it and really hate Slick, but like, come on. Come on, like this is adorable. Hey guys, this is actually the only Beanie Boo who made it on both the ugliest Beanie Boos list and the cutest Beanie Boos list. Cause you guys voted for Slick as your favorite Beanie Boo in the last video. So I guess Slick is just really controversial. Anyways, moving on from that absolute betrayal. Number five on the top 10 ugliest Beanie Boos list is Benedict the Ostrich Chick. Benedict is one of the weird hybrids that Ty created between an ostrich and another animal. And honestly, I think that Benedict is the least ugly out of all of the ostrich hybrids, but he's, he's still a little creepy. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like a chick Beanie Boo should be sort of like chubby. So like the weird neck stick kind of throws me off a little bit. Same with the beak. Like it kind of just looks like there's I don't know, like a hole in his face, which is a little creepy. This Beanie Boo reminds me of Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. Number four on the top 10 ugliest Beanie Boos list is Dory the Fish. Dory is also one of my personal least favorite Beanie Boos. Like once again, she has smaller eyes than a normal Beanie Boo. And she has one of these like flat shapes. Like she's not squishy at all. She's just like, flat. And I've also just never liked like the teeth that she has. Like teeth on a Beanie Boo is just a little bit too realistic for me. I loved Dory in Finding Nemo, but I don't love Dory as a Beanie Boo. And number three on the top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list is Chessie the Orangutan! You guys! I actually just got Chessie in my most recent Beanie Boo shopping video and I personally think that she's really cute and really unique, but I do know the reason that a lot of you guys hate this Beanie Boo. Like I have seen a lot of comments and a lot of other people's videos where they say that they really, really, really don't like Chessie's lips. As you guys can see, she has some embroidered pink lips that are pretty realistic and a lot of you guys think that they're a little too realistic. And I can see where you guys are coming from um, but I still think that she's really cute. And coming in at number two on the list of the top 10 ugliest Beanie Boos, we have Journey the Giraffe Ostrich Hybrid. At this point, this Beanie Boo is just famous for being like everyone's least favorite Beanie Boo. He is another hybrid between an ostrich and another animal. I don't know what Ty was thinking when they were making all of these Beanie Boos, but I mean, at least they were being creative. Just looking at Jerdy, it's it's just kind of weird how his head is like a fluffy puffball connected by a stick to another fluffy puffball. And then his little arms are just like little flabs. And then his giraffe pattern is just a little too much. Like it's so loud. But yeah, I don't have Jerdy and I don't plan on buying him. And I think this is definitely a good pick for the second ugliest Beanie Boo. And now before I reveal the number one ugliest Beanie Boo of all time, according to you guys, I just want to do some honorable mentions of Beanie Boos that almost made it on the list, but didn't get quite enough votes. The honorable mentions are George the Gorilla, Giselle the Unileopard, Skylar the Unicorn, Begonia the Bunny, Franny the Ostrich Flamingo, Turbo the Turtle, and Kiwi the Bird. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the ugliest Beanie Boo of all time, according to you guys, is Camilla the Ostrich Poodle! received a whopping 223 votes. So I guess if there's anything that the Beanie Boo community can agree on is that Camilla is the ugliest Beanie Boo. I know that I've made a top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos video with her as the thumbnail. And yeah, I did Photoshop her face onto a picture of a real ostrich. And I did make a rap song about her where I dissed her. Who knows what Ty was thinking when they created the Fuzzy Freak Show? <laughs> but you know, she's kind of- 
kind of grown on me. Like, yeah, she has a weird stick neck and she has weird looking hands with like one finger on them and strange looking floppy feet. But like, I've kind of developed a soft spot for her. Like, I feel kind of bad. Maybe her pink fur it's a pretty color. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Maybe I've just gone a little crazy, but tell me in the comments down below if you agree with this pick for the number one ugliest Beanie Boo. This list was definitely a wild ride to make, but it was really interesting, so thank you so much to everybody who voted, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments down below what your least favorite Beanie Boos are. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye-bye!